Hi, welcome everybody to the channel. I'm Rage at Games, and today we are going to be jumping into a brand new playthrough of the campaign of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. I also have both the DLCs and about four or five mods installed. As a matter of fact, we can take a look at that. I am using Pilot Overhaul, yet another Mech Lab, another Mech Lab Max, TT Rules, another Weapon Clan, yet another weapon, uh, Star Map Mouse Over, and Coyote's Mission. These all make the game so much better than the base. I'd rather play it that way than without, and it gives you a little more variety in the game. So, we're going to start a new campaign, and while yeah, cutscenes are playing, when I'll be fairly quiet to allow you people to hear it and if you want to or whatnot, but while the game is playing, then I'll be chatting with you all as we go along. So, let's jump into it and start a new campaign. Skip the tutorial, I've already done it. And here we go. In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. <clears throat> During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. Which always but from the great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slow. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, Mercenaries became the proxy forces for the Great Houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the Inner Sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. <laughs> the year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. Every time I hear that intro, I always think, yeah, it sounds like they're about to say in the far future there is only war. That's a different uh, franchise. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do this. The year also uh, makes a difference in this game. Things open up the further in the timeline you go. In the air. You see anyone, son? The salvage crates at the last checkpoint were empty. Now, something's up if they're missing payments. This is Commander Mason of Major Campbell. Make a note. Looks like someone is going to need a lesson in paying their bills on time. That's odd. What the hell? Same guy voicing Father and Son. Acknowledge. I have a visual. It's bloody white, sir. We are evacuating. We need to take what we have and go. The fastest way is across the swamp. Captain, where are you going? Yeah, this part makes no sense. They left the cash at the last checkpoint in the city. Let's get the money and run, Commander. This is reckless. We need to get back to base. They're distracted with the invasion. We'll be in and out before they know we're here. Let's hope it's not us they're after. Ooh. No, 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 that seems like a foolish thing for me, or, uh, to me to do. You know, the whole city's being I laid like waste, but let's, let's go in there and try and find some hidden money. This is a ghost town. <laughs> Close. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing here. Relax. We'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged. Look out! Incoming airstrike! I guess there's a mod that will make the destruction in game look like this with the smoke and fire, but I'm fine, my computer's too old. I wouldn't be able to run it probably. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. 
Meet me at the extraction point with the leopard. Go! Now, Captain! That line about him being in no shape to fight bothers me. Because all he's lost is his left arm. Anyone who plays this game knows that the left arm is useless. It's a shield arm. He could still fight. I've got eyes on. Fully functional. Identified. Hunchback and King Crab. Damn it. Rihanna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Rihanna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise. See, now he's out in the swamp. Like he was just in the city. Captain Mason, what's your status? I've got a bug on my tail. This is a much better intro cinematic than when the game first launched. Had none of this. It was very, very it's underwhelming intro. Open. Something to be said for blowing Can't giant robots up with other giant me. robots, so that never gets old. Commander Jake is on board. We're taking off. We can't leave him here. We gotta get him support. almost a full 10 minutes I think to get into the actual gameplay of this just because they spent enough time setting it up <coughs> excuse me however once the game starts going well, then you, it's just it's constant it's relentless you can do mission after mission after mission Six days since the attack on Cavalier Base. Commander, sorry to wake you, but our Citrep has changed. Head to the bridge as soon as possible. It's going to be a long walk to the bridge. Watch out. Or not. <laughs> like that. Your bedroom is just right here. Off the side of the main area of the ship. Commander, good to see you up. We haven't really had a chance to speak since your father was killed. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. Like, what else you can do? Are you kidding me? Your family, Rihanna, <laughs> are as close as I have now. Besides, I'm going to need you. Yes. I suspect you will. About our Citrek. The story in this is not those bastards that came Pulitzer Prize material. The of setting up a blockade of the system, which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit, by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. 
That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Kudos to anyone who recognizes any other games this guy's done voice work in. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. Spears, I mean. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. All right, let's go talk to Fahad. He spent a lot of time in the, in the campaign, the early parts of the campaign, running up and down these stairs to talk to these two, because apparently in the world of, of Battletech, there are no such thing as intercoms. Hey, mate. <coughs> Figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. It is cool, though, that they it's built it out. You can see your mech sitting in here. It's going to be a while before she's operational again. Means you're going to have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay 1 for now. She's a good girl. Won't let you down to treat her, right? I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill. Access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? One thing that they did do with the, the DLC, the Kestrel Lancers, is they added in those uh, cutscenes. They also improved the lip syncing and the animation of your NPCs on the ship. It's not a huge deal, but it was noticeable before. All right, we're going to repair this. Uh, we're going to repaint our mechs with my own one that I've already made up. Apply to all. Now my mechs look badass. Even if it is a little tiny thing. Now we'll go back and talk to Rihanna. Hey, Commander. I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. Here's the voice I was talking Listen. about. Listen. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system. But it's going to take a little time. Uh, every time I hear I this guy speak, all I can think is Adam Jensen. Whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system, though, so we can use that to our advantage. None of this was in here either before. You His lips this, didn't move. He was just I a, want a you to plain the picture. Most planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs. And I expect you'll find what you need at that location. I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right. Time to suit up, Commander. All right. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. Okay, now we're going to get into the game. Whoops. Transmissions. All right, okay, Commander. I'm going to drop us down well away from the target location, then let you do your thing. Target is, is an abandoned power plant. We know the Raiders have been using the area as a secret cache for whatever goods they've managed to pilfer from the various mining outfits. So with a little luck, we'll be able to recover enough material to finish the repairs on the Leopard and the Centurion. The Leopard, by the way, is the ship that you are in. These raiders may be a band of thieves, but don't underestimate them. They'll be motivated to protect their loot, and you can bet they'll be well armed. Stay on point and watch your six, Commander. Good luck. All right, we'll accept. Go to contracts. Now here we have, you have four choices. Mission airstrike obviously isn't available in this one, but when you do get it, it drops an airstrike on a, on a fairly wide area, and it'll do a lot of damage to buildings and, and mechs. Damage coverage will cover a, co a certain amount of cost of your repairs. Salvage is obviously salvage. You'll get mech parts, weapons, stuff like that, and then sea bill pay those direct money. I generally go with, with salvage most of the time and fill, uh, use up any unused points in money. That The uh, damage coverage is pointless to me, and only in certain missions do I have I ever found the airstrike useful. Salvage is how you get all your money. You'll get all your all your weapon systems, your heat sinks, your cooling systems, all that kind of stuff, plus new mechs that way. And you'll even get mechs that you don't need and can sell for millions of sea bills. Salvage is the way to go. So here we go. We are going to deploy. I, my character, level six up to level sixty, starting at seven. Piloting a twenty ton or thirty ton uh, 
javelin neck with four medium lasers. <clears throat> One thing to keep in mind for those of you who may be watching this that do know your way around Mech Warrior and you know the stats of the weapons and stuff like that, I'm not that deep into it. I love these games, but. I, I know them on a surface level. I play it because I find it fun, not to min-max and shit like that. All systems nominal. is lightly armed commander but what it lacks in firepower and armor it makes up in speed and mobility mm -hmm. i'm sure you wish the centurion was repaired and ready to go for this particular mission though the javelin is the mech best suited for the job and hey it has jump jets that could come in handy good try rihanna but i'd still rather have the centurion well can't blame a girl for trying <laughs> So here's the thing, aside from this mission and one more, uh, later on... Being used by these raiders is derelict, Commander. Oh, well, none of them require jump jets. Won't be. My guess, the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. I, I pretty much take jump jets off by default. Generator close by. Destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got it. Thanks. Yeah, jump jets I find are a waste of, uh, whoa, that was a headshot. Jump jets are, I find, are a waste of tonnage, because you're, you're limited by how many systems you can put on a mech, right? When you take jump jets, unless you plan on jumping around a ton, like, they don't do you any good. So I take them off to put more cooling in, more weapon systems if I've got the spaces, that kind of thing. Target acquired. I didn't bother with this because A, I know it. I know I need them in this mission. But also, um, I will be getting rid of the uh, Javelin and the uh, Centurion very quickly. Punch! Punch! That was a new thing that was added in with Kestrel Lancers, too. These, um, these mechs can actually punch things now. Yeah, I did it. That's the thing about jump jets. If you don't turn the, turn them on again before you land and you go high enough, you'll actually damage your max legs. Those will damage you too if they land on you. VTOLs in this game are annoying as hell. Even in the middle of a massive mech fight, you have to stop and pick them off because they fly above you and just pelt you constantly. See, you notice how it doesn't burn? Okay, there's one. Now here's something to keep in mind. When you play this game, anytime you see these red piping... Has a network of backup generators running. Destroy them if you can. Okay. Anytime you see these red pipes, if you walk through them or you shoot them, they explode massively, like in order. They'll do a lot of damage to you. If you see yellow ones, you can walk right through them because you'll just knock out a section. Oh no, what I was going to say about um, picking up the, the cargo crates, when you find them, uh, not in this mission, because it's it's set differently. But when you find them in a regular mission, they'll sometimes heal you. They'll restock your ammo. They're, it's always worthwhile stopping for them. Oh, I thought that would take them out. There we go. Alright, forward. Wow, 
I've actually taken a fair bit of damage. You see at the bottom left hand corner there the, of my game screen, you can see the various uh, levels of damage my mech has taken so far. Okay, let's destroy generators. Uh, two more crates. Should be one around here. Yep. Another damn tank. There it is. And that'll be the last salvage crate. Alright, we're out of here. You see, here's the yellow ones. Watch, it doesn't blow them up. They don't just keep exploding, only the red ones. Alright, let's go destroy this base. Oh crap. There's a tank behind me, Jesus! Machine guns can be nasty in this game. So you can just fire them forever. I think they, they barely build up any heat. Yeah, for those of you who've never played this game before, you have to watch your heat management. You see that gauge going up on the right of my minimap when I fire? The, high, the higher that gets, the warmer your mech is. Eventually, if you overheat, it'll shut your mech down right in the middle of the battle. Which is not good. Oh, that was, that was too close. That hurt me. This is the best way to demolish things, just walk through them. There we go. And we're out of here. Oh, come on! Punch! There we go. Punching with this guy actually brought me close enough to damage me when I did it. Mm. Oh, come on. Punch. Yeah, the explosion from that when I punch it is, is damaging me. All right, I'm out of here. And that is the leopard. I think that's the leopard. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, that's the leopard. Because you don't actually have a drop ship if you're on. Those are those big, giant, round ones that you saw in the trailer. All right. Time to pick some salvage. I have six picks. Level one laser right off the bat. And I'll just take all medium lasers because you never have enough medium lasers in this. Bunch of leveling up. It's nice I went from level 7 to 11 in one match. Nice work, Commander. We were able to recover the materials we needed from that Raider cache, and Fahad has already started the repairs to the Leopard and Centurion. You made me a very happy man, although I doubt he'll admit it. Yeah, no, he won't. While, you're, uh, while you were taking, to, taking on the Raider, Spears contacted me. He has a plan in place to get us out of our current predicament. Head up to the bridge when you get a chance, and I'll fill you in. All right. Gotta go speak to Fahad first. I do like that they built out the inside of the leopard, and you see your mechs in the state that they're in, like when they've been damaged in a in a battle. You come down and see they'll be exactly like they were. Hey, it's a nice little touch. That was quite the haul you brought back. Gonna make the repairs a bit easier now, but don't go getting stalls in your eyes or nothing. I'm overworked as it is, and this ship needs a lot of loving, eh? So your Centurion is still gonna take plenty of time to fix. But yeah, like I said, nice job out there. Your old man will be proud. 
Now, if there's nothing else, gonna get back at it. All right, a lot of work to do. Story of my life. Fahad's a different character. Like, a lot of the stuff he says, it's it's kind of pointless. Like, you have to go talk to him, and you, when you're done, it's like, oh, what was that for? <laughs> Good work with those raiders, Commander. While you were planet side, I got word from Spears about the plan he's put in place for us. Take a listen. Take a listen. Liana, Commander. Good news. I think I can get you safely past the blockade with the aid of a local mining company. To make everything work, I'm gonna have to find you guys a recycled mercenary identification number. A new identity, essentially. Nick's Cavaliers, for all intents and purposes, no longer exists. I'll match that number to a new name of your choosing once the time comes. So, think about what you want to call yourselves. While I arrange that, you're gonna have to do a little work for the mining company in exchange for their cooperation. Things go well. They've agreed to hire you to transport some precious cargo out of the system aboard an inbound jump ship. Of course things are gonna go well. Using the new mercenary ID and with a legitimate contract in hand, you should have no problem slipping through the blockade. I've attached the particulars to this message. I'll be in touch once you've completed the mission. Good luck. I already All right, here we go. Sent. The mission is a straight-up protect and defend op. Seems these yeah, we got time for are one. harassing the mining company, among others. Stealing from them, extorting them, killing innocent civilians when their demands weren't met. Nice I've people. I've uploaded the pertinent details into the mission briefing, so I won't repeat them here. You're good to launch any time, Commander. Roger that. All right. See you on the other side. First things first, we're going to go to the mech lab. Whoops. New transmissions. The mining company settlement is vulnerable to raider attack, Commander, so we've got to protect it. I'll drop you in at a safe distance. Once on the ground, hand there and defend it. Should be simple in and out mission, but no plan survives contact with the enemy as the saying goes. So be prepared for whatever comes. Good luck. All right. Take the, oh, back to Battlemax, and we're going to take 12 days to repair our javelin. And we're going to accept the contract and go for the salvage again. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility. Oh, okay. Snowstorm means that uh, it's harder to see. So, for some reason, my pilot's not picked anymore. Here we go. Off we go. Wait 12 days. And time to blow up some more tanks. I'm looking forward to when my salvage starts coming in and I have tier 1 and higher weapons. There's a big difference between the tier 0 and the tier 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5 weapons. Once you get the tier one, even like you, you just sell all your tier zero. You don't want to keep it anymore. They're crap. <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, Commander. We know very little about these raiders' overall strength or sheer numbers, so keep a sharp lookout for enemy units on your approach to that settlement. Okay. Copy that. Now the whole point of this mission, you see, it says up top, mining settlement health 100. Whole point of this mission is to make sure they don't destroy the base. Later on, you start getting ones that um, actually have a percentage for like a secondary optional goal. Don't let it get below 40. Don't let it go between 20. The higher you keep it, the better your salvage and your payout is at the end. Yeah. That VTOL just backed itself into a mountain. That happens all the time. It's weird. Looks like the Raiders have already begun their attack. Get in there and protect those civilians. On my way. Please help us. The Raiders are attacking our settlement. There are women and children here. Hey there. Why? Rihanna, something's interfering with my sensors. I think the Raiders have set up some sort of jamming device nearby. I'll see if I can locate it. Those guys are priority tanks too. The, the missile carriers, they carry either uh, short-range missiles or they can carry long-range missiles and they, they just do so much damage. Play oh, hell, I hate planes. The worst ones are the Igors. They do so much damage. They carry massive, massive weapons on them at times, too. Oh, shit. Okay. See, it's two SRM-10s. 
get a couple of shots like that on me at close distance, that'll kill this mech, like outright. Those things are scary. Target acquired. Scorpion light tank, alright. The light tanks aren't bad, but um, when you come up against like partisans, manticores, and demolishers, oh, those things even take multiple shots from heavy mechs even. Thwart. Understood. Whoever came up with that name Thwart, or word Thwart, like, seems like an odd, how, we need to stop him, no, we need to thwart him. Did that come from someone who had like a preponderance of supervillains in their lives? Knock off the icicles. <laughs> Brianna, my sensors are getting worse. The jamming device the Raider set up is at the top of this pass, Commander. You're going to have to manage as best you can until you're able to take it out. Target acquired. First time I played this game, when I got to this mission, I kept reloading the mission right before he said that his, his sensors were, you know, getting Target buggy, because I actually thought the game was bugging out. Jump jets, so I'm going this way. Slow my fall. There we go. Oh, I just pulled it off in time. <laughs> I tried that once. Knocked both of my legs off. Jump jets can be useful, I just, I don't know. Once you start getting into the heavier mechs, you just don't want them anymore. I'm sure there are people who want, who play this game who think jump jets are the king. They just don't work for me. Ooh, there's some over here. Just, oh, see, even that little fall hurt my legs. I'm actually just using the jump jets to avoid doing as much damage as possible. <clears throat> oh, crap. Oh, he's facing the other way. Good. <laughs> oh, crap. I hate Evers. Where is it? There it is. You gotta go with the Igors, you've gotta go for the engines on the side. Shit, he's too high. <laughs> he ran into the cliff! Let's go for the Igor. See, he's right above me. And I can't. There we go. Good work, Commander. That should make the mining company happy. Prepare for exfil. I'm on my way. Oh, that's it. Okay. 
couple of quick training missions basically. There is a tutorial that uh, I skipped. It's it's really basic. It just shows you the way you move and stuff like that. Alright, reach level two, still unknown. Continue. Ah, now we're gonna take We're gonna take two of the AC fives, because auto cannons are really good. And another medium laser and a long range missile ten. Which means it fires ten missiles. Outstanding job. Those raiders were intent on shutting down the entire mining operation. And that mobile jamming tower almost put a spinner in the works. Luckily it didn't, thanks to you. There's a lot of people down there who owe you their lives tonight, Commander. As for what happens now, Spears has been in touch. It seems we have one more mission to execute before the mining company will sign off on the transport contract. We need that contract as cover to get past the blockade, so we don't have much choice but to do as they ask. Come see me when you've cleaned up and I'll give you the full rundown. Of course, I start on the shop floor and gotta run upstairs again. Alright, and that will call it for this episode for right now. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Uh, please, if you liked what, what you saw here, leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep seeing more. Uh, hit the notification bell. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.